Okay, welcome to the third part. Now, <clears throat> for the paint, we're gonna need uh, a little bit of Photoshop. But uh, before we do that, let's uh, set up a UV map for the this tank over here. Now, the reason why I kept it in low poly is because uh, it's gonna make uh, things a lot more easier. All right. So to make a UV map, <coughs> let's. Uh, in fact, yeah, let me show you guys what I actually what a UV map is. Uh, okay, let's uh, get a cube for example over here. Yeah, okay. And uh, let's access the UV editor over here. UV texture editor. Okay. You can uh, also access it by going into window, I think. Uh, where was it? My general uh, mission. No, where was it? Oh yeah, over here, the UV texture editor, okay, alright, and you'll come up with uh, this icon over here. Now, what this is, is basically a collection of UV, UV points, or vertices, which are uh, the coordinates of your uh, object placed on a, on a 2D plane, so that you can uh, actually texture it. So what we have here is basically our cube unwrapped, okay? This is the default way in which uh, Maya maps a cube, alright? So uh, basically what we have here is uh, this uh, space over here repeats itself, alright? Uh, for example, uh, when we're going to do our badge, say we put it uh, around over here and uh, the rest of the texture is going to be like a bluish, darkish blue. The, uh, if we map a uh, certain part, like uh, say like this, all right, the pattern is going to be repeated in each square, so it's going to look a little fudged up. Um, Alright, in fact, let's actually do this and uh, you're, you'll uh, get it as we move along. Okay, let's uh, delete this guy over here and let's set up a UV map for this tech. This is how it uh, actually looks at the moment. And we really, we can't do much with it, alright? Like this face is this face, this face is that one, and so on and so forth. Alright? So, we actually need a UV map. So, what, uh, the badge is going to be placed around here somewhere, alright? So, let's just uh, pick this, these uh, faces up. Uh, yeah, there's, these should be enough, okay? And let's uh, select the other ones on the other side as well. Alright. Excuse me. Okay, after this, we go into uh, Create UVs, Planar Mapping, click on this little box over here, and we actually need to uh, project these uh, faces on the uh, <coughs> Z-axis. So what we need to do is uh, so click on Bonding Box so that it actually uh, remains in this uh, square over here when the mapping is done and select the Z axis then just click on project and there we go alright actually yeah this uh, <laughs> this isn't really what I wanted uh, best plane keep image and width and height ratio alright there we go now let's just uh, move this out of the way for the moment uh, go to faces Select the entire object and just uh, create another one by, I don't know, the y-axis. It doesn't really matter since it's, uh, this part is going to be covered uh, only with the color, so... Yeah, let's just uh, put it somewhere around here and this part over here, somewhere around here. This is where our uh, badge is going to go. Let's rotate it a bit, just a little bit. Okay, now um, <clears throat> what we're going to do is basically go to polygons and make a UV snapshot 
of what we have over here so that we can actually use it as a reference in uh, Photoshop. So let's just make something uh, like, I don't know, 1000 by 1000 in resolution. All right. And uh, we're going to name it, it's going to send it out into images in our uh, project uh, folder. And uh, let's name it, name it uh, Tank UV. All right. Uh, let's just make it a uh, Targa. When you're doing textures in Maya, uh, make uh, I usually use Targa. It's just uh, the best way to go. It keeps the, all the information you want it uh, to. Okay, let's just click on. Oh, well, this always happens to me. Uh, click on object, and then there we go. Okay, now let's go over into Photoshop. Let's uh, let me resize this a bit. Get this out of the way. Come on, work with me. Okay, something like this. All right. Now let's open that. Uh, snapshot that we made. Okay, so let's go over where the hell did I put it? Uh Wellington, okay, okay. Images. Here we go. Tank UV. Alright. Now what we're gonna do is basically make a new layer, control shift N. Alright. Uh select a bluish color, something like this more or less press alt backspace and there we go now let's uh, lower the opacity of this a bit and bring in our uh, badge let's click on open Harley Davidson badge there we go all right let's uh, press control a control C control a again control shift V Press V and let's position this. Now, this is a bit bigger than uh, what I would like actually like. So let's just uh, scale it a bit. Okay, yeah, something like this. If we actually want it to be bigger, we can uh, actually edit our UVs and it will be fine. Okay, something like this. Let's bring out our opacity back. Okay, let's delete this just in case. Merge these guys by shift selecting them both, pressing Ctrl E. All right, and this is pretty much our texture. All right, so let's just save it up. Save as images. Let's go into textures and save it as uh, tank paint, something along these lines, because we're actually gonna use it uh, on the all uh, parts. Let's just save it as uh, where is it? Targa. Okay. No. Targa. God damn it. There we go. 32 bits. Alright. That's pretty much it. Now let's get back in here and uh, see what we actually got. Okay. So uh, let's uh, set up the shader for our paint in which our uh, newly new texture is gonna be plugged into. So let's call this uh, okie doke uh, blue paint. That's gonna be all right. Okay, now uh, so that we can actually plug in our uh, texture, we gotta go over here into color. Click on this little guy over here, and come on. Okay, this uh, icon will appear. So. We can uh, choose uh, from uh, one uh, default uh, texture which Maya has, like checker boxes and cloth and grids and other uh, dohickeys and doodads. But we shall go into File, okay? And this uh, node over here is going to be plugged in, all right? The coordinates and the actual file. So under the we select the file over here. And under image name, select the folder icon over there. And uh, we're gonna go into uh, the exact path which over when uh, where, where we actually have our texture. Okay, this usually happens. I don't really know why it uh, actually makes it transparent. 
So let's just select uh, the thing over here, press delete, middle click uh, the file again, drop it over the shader and uh, select the color. Okay, there we go. Let's uh, apply it and see what we come up with. Okay, and blue paint. Yep, there we go. Alright. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right, we're gonna have to... Okay, let's make this right. Let's uh, go into our uh, UV over here. Okay. And let's uh, make this right. Select uh, a UV let's say this one then go over here into select and select shell now uh, what it actually does it's, uh, it selects our uh, UV uh, mapping the whole set alright so we just have to uh, mirror this I think so let's uh, we can actually resize it whoop something like this Slap it on over here. I think it's a little more bigger. Yeah, 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 that'll do. Okay, something along those lines. Let's just move it a bit more, actually. Uh, that's fine. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now uh, let's uh, go into our shading, hyper shade over here, and uh, edit our uh, shader. Okay, so. <coughs> into our eccentricity let's go for something like uh, 110 ish okay in the specular loft we'll just leave it like that in the specular coral let's just bring it down a notch something along these lines and with reflectivity we'll just go all the way up okay and that should be it okay now let's apply it to the rest of our objects and see what we come up with these two guys and I believe that's pretty much all of them okay let's apply blue paint see if that badge pops up anywhere let's actually recheck yeah that's okay uh, our uh, UV uh, UVs are way back over here and these over here as well so we're good okay so that's pretty much it Next, we're gonna do the uh, headlight over here. Mm, actually, no, I wanna take another look on our uh, in our shader over here. Something doesn't sit well with me. <laughs> okay, let's check these over here. Um, yeah, let's uh, bump up the spectral color a bit because we actually want reflections on that. Uh, reflectivity. Uh, I believe not this much. It's paint, so something around 700 or something like that. Okay. The eccentricity is okay. Okay, something like that. And yeah, I believe we're good. <coughs> okay. Um, I believe yeah. Let's uh, <coughs> call it quits for uh, part three, and I'll see you guys in part four.